This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we have markets with a little seesaw action in both directions. NASDAQ 100 actually positive right now by eight points, trading at 87.26. We got the S&Ps negative by 13, trading at 28.04. Dow negative 250 points, 23,359. Oil contract up seven pennies. Oil trading at 19.85. We've got the gold contract up $13 at 17.13. And silver negative by six pennies trading at 1487 we start things off we started off with the vix for monday action rising to 4032 correlating to the market bottoms overnight we'll see that action when i pull up the charts in a moment right now trading at 3905 start things off let's jump over to the charts we'll start it off with the dow 23,341 you back it up to the overnight lows 23,213 in the dow at about 9 p.m eastern time last night we were as high as above 23,500 briefly at about 3 a.m eastern time nasdaq 100 as i mentioned nasdaq 100 in the green 8722 right now Quite an acceleration and a pop right on the open. You back it up to where we were at 9 p.m. Eastern time. That's a low of 85.58. So you're talking about 150 plus NASDAQ 100 points. S&P is trading at 28.04, the low overnight, 27.71. So you're talking about 33 S&P points off the low. There's your crew contract trading higher, now above $20 at 20.06. Gold contract trading at 17.14 after spiking to 17.25 at about 6 a.m. And the euro US dollar at 109.29. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, a big week of earnings, and we get non-farm payrolls on Friday. We get Disney earnings after the bell tomorrow. Disney, quite a slide from where we were early Thursday, from 114 to 101. We also get ride hailing company Uber. They're coming out Thursday. Again, this market as it pulls back from 32 to 26. And just for some context, as we wrap up this 10 o'clock update, check out that run from 29.65 early Thursday to 27.71. You're talking about 194 S&P points or 6.5% in only a couple of days. Volatility not going away anywhere anytime soon. Non-farm payrolls Friday, they're looking for potentially losing 21 million jobs and an unemployment rate of 16%. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned, folks. Live programming all Monday at TFNN. We'll be right back.